around. It's very good. It's, it's almost like for the last 20 years in the church, we've heard this concept, you are a threat, you are a threat, you are a threat, you have authority, you are a threat to the enemy, and God is now booming over us, now go be one. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. go be one. Yeah. So it's what you're saying. It's moving from the head wow. knowledge. I should be afraid. Now, some people are saying, you know, I'm scared to take on the demons. I'm going to, we are going, do not go anywhere. We are going to deal with that over probably not the end of this session, but we are going to come to that. These are going to be three sessions, I think, on this warfare concept. Okay, Sam, we're yeah. going to get to you're it before right. the end of the hour. Your yeah. third mantle you're My seeing. Third mantle. <laughs> this was actually the strongest one that pushed me into a place of prayer this morning. I saw a, a and this was a, a, a bright piercing red mantle in particular. I saw a mantle drop on the church and on the people of God for those who will champion and contend for freedom for teenagers and children, particularly from the trauma of the last season that the enemy wants mm. to set around them. And I heard the Lord say specifically about this for those of you who um who who contend over this the lord says this mantle is a particularly vocal mantle and the lord says it stands on how you speak about teenagers and children and i heard the lord say watch your words and the Lord says, watch what they achieve, uh, even uh, e either by tearing down or by planting. And it is a season, the Spirit of God says, for teenagers and for children to plant with your words and to sow with your words and to bring freedom with your words words and the wow. lord says the enemy wants you to partner with him by feeding the curse that he has set around children and teenagers yeah. by speaking ill of them and the lord says be slow to criticize particularly teenagers as they navigate the season and be quick to prophesy promise over them because the lord says your words will hold them and your words will free them and the lord says your words will raise them up and by your words i will deal with the seeds of trauma and i will plant seeds of expectation and hope particularly in teenagers so the lord says be slow to criticize as you partner yeah. particularly with this mass freedom mantle and be quick to prophesy promise over them I mean, that, and actually, Sam, what I love about that is the practicality of God, who's, who is really saying to us, look, you're going to be dealing with a traumatized generation. I mean, I look mm -hmm. at my own three children and the grief and the loss that they've gone through, even though actually they seem to be quite vibrant today. But I know that there are bound to be moments ahead where their little hearts that don't have adult processing, you know, are going to struggle with how do I navigate even in four years or five years time what I went through during the pandemic when I was locked uh, uh, basically you know locked up for months on end and do you see the practicalities people who are watching this you speak something in and God is saying he will anoint that word to displace an enemy ideal or an enemy strategy or an enemy planting that all you have got to do is say something like you are a roaring success and it will un, un it will dismantle it will rip up that thought that they will never break out it um, is the i believe in you and you will get through this it is the simple words of planting about their future and their value or yeah. god will heal your heart and i lose healing to you and that kind of language that God is saying, I will put deliverance on your words, that it will not just be a neuro linguistic programming, it will not just be playing a language game, it will not just be washing them with a nice thought for.
from your tongue. It will be an anointing of deliverance that is harnessed by your words, that goes on your tongue, that when you plant it into a child, a demon must run and flee because the mantle is a deliverance mantle on language for children. Oh, somebody needs to put a hallelujah right there in the comments. What a remarkable thing that you're not just saying, God, help me be nice. You're not just saying, oh, God, help me speak positively. You're saying, God, I receive the mantle for mass deliverance of teenagers and young children that what I say will so whip the demonic that they will run from their lives and I will plant in a word of truth that will become a mighty oak tree of stability in the midst of them. Come, Come on, because we are talking about mass mantles. Here. Yeah. Come on. Woo. Look, so you want to add to that or Sam? Look, do I say anything? Sure. I, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just conscious of the I, it, you can feel that almost like the I don't know, it's not the change in authority on our words, just the, just the, I'm just so conscious of the, in this season, that, that, that edge and the sharpness and the, that, that the God is putting on our words, yes. you know, it's like, it's, it, it, that, that they will accomplish, that they will accomplish, that they will accomplish. It's like, he's almost inviting us to test him in whether he will do it as it comes out of our mouth. Wow. Um, he's, he's, he, he's, yeah, yeah, wow. Yes, wow. and I do believe on, on the back of this that actually what we have been through it has been absolutely, in 2020, a year of preparation, a oh. year of rehearsal. In fact, you and I yeah. have walked through a dress rehearsal year that is so, uh, ha was a gift of God to us, though it was unpleasant, but it, it was a gift of God to raise our warrior ability, to raise our faith levels so that you could then fight the real deal stuff and be prepared for the days ahead, even the beginning of the end days. And so you got to not kind of go oh 2020 high horrendous yeah. uh, although it was you got to go look it was a dress rehearsal i get the medal i am promoted by god my faith has grown that we have been prepared for the annihilation of the enemy and yeah, for the mass harvest because yeah. we got to say in 2019 and before there was an unreadiness in us to be what we were supposed to be and God has taken us through some things and he has made us more ready and I feel like the church was lifted by the mighty hand of God and was placed in a classroom and that God said this is an extreme classroom of learning where you are learning who I am and how capable you are in me now at the graduation service because yeah. I feel like we've hit a moment yeah. of time that God is calling the graduation service. Now, is crisis still going to continue? Yes. Is shaking still going to continue? Yes. But you are going right now in this moment through a graduation ceremony where God is saying, look that I have readied you. Look that your faith levels are raised. And now instead of a mortar board or a scroll or a diploma that you would normally get at a graduation ceremony, the Lord says, now look that I put in your hand a different level of mass uh, of weapon that is for mass destruction. Yeah. And whilst the world yeah. was fussing about weapons of mass destruction, even in the Iraq war and faith, falling on their faces because they couldn't even find them the lord says now the wmds the weapons of mass destruction are being put into a hand of a ready church who has been matured says the lord and the yeah, spirit of wow. the lord says i tested the church and i find her wanting but the spirit of the lord says know this that there has been a maturation a maturing in your hearts and a moral revolution 
position where you have loved truth like never before because it was all you had in the midst mm. of you. And the Spirit of the Lord says, Oh, graduated church, oh, mature church, see that your remit is global, see that your remit is territorial. Look up from the walls house for the spirit of the lord says i am shaking the earth and i am shaking the heavens and as i shake the earth there is crisis but as i shake the heavens says the lord there is glory and the spirit of the lord says i have put it in my word that i would not shake one without shaking the other and the spirit of the lord says as i align catastrophe and chaos in a sh in a shaken earth the lord says so i release glory glory from a shaken heaven says the earth to the lord and the spirit of the lord says open your hands that you may receive the anointing of glory from a shaken heaven says the lord whoa whoa, whoa. jesus wow. come on boy, it's promotion day boy it's promotion day wow 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 wow